The needle threader is wonderful, but let me show you some little tricks that I have learned along the years. So first off, if the presser foot is up, the thread will pull gently through the machine. Sometimes it's nice to lower the presser foot, so I'm going to push the down arrow, and that will put a little resistance on the thread. That sometimes can make it a little easier. It also moves the foot a little bit out of your way, so that's one way to do it. You don't have to, but that is helpful. Now, when you bring this down and all the way down, you'll notice the little head comes around the, uh, the eye of the needle from the back side. So here's the step. I like to bring it down about halfway, wrap the thread around the hook over here. Now notice I'm not getting my thumbs in there, so get used to kind of catching it on the way down. Then bring the thread over to this side, but just hold it out here. Then take your finger, firmly press down. Now if you don't go down all the way, then the little hook that's coming through the back of the eye of the needle to receive the thread doesn't come through far enough, so make sure you push it all the way down. Then put the thread in the little groove on the right side. Now notice I'm lifting the thread up gently. I'm not pushing to the back, but just up. Now as I release my left hand and my right hand, it can pull the thread out or pull the thread to the back and kind of out of my fingers. And that little loop, I just pull to the back side, pull it all the way through and your needle is threaded. So let's do that one more time. So I'm bringing it down halfway, swooping it underneath and to the right, pushing my left hand all the way down firmly, putting the thread in the little mouth and lifting up and then letting it pull out of my hands. Now if you hold on too tight over here, it won't pull that loop through or not give you a very big loop. So just kind of get in the habit of being everything needs to be gentle with this. If your needle is not in the highest position or if you've inserted your needle and you didn't get it to the proper height, and your needle threader will not work. If you keep trying to use your needle threader and it's not lining up with the eye, that is gonna bend it to the right or to the left. So you might need to do a little kind of minor surgery in there and get it tweaked to the right or to the left if you have bent it. And if you do break it, your dealer can replace that and it will be worthwhile because you are always needing to thread that needle. So little practice and be gentle but firm. Does that make sense? Happy needle threading.